roasting some marshmallows. everybody James with That's Right Lawn Care here on the road again heading out to a yard anyways I figured I'd get on here and uh, give a little chat about something I experienced yesterday I got a call from a buddy of mine and he said hey man my grandmother's neighbor is looking for somebody to do her mulch she said she couldn't find anybody to do her mulch I'm thinking of all these lawn care companies out here somebody's got to be wanting to make some money so, anyways, needless to say, I guess they were looking for somebody they could trust and didn't just want to grab the first guy they saw and said, hey, blah, blah, blah. Well, I know uh, my buddy's grandparents pretty well, and uh, I've talked with them quite a bit, and so they referred me. So, they gave them my number, and the lady calls me, and she says, she says, hey, I'd like to get an estimate for mulch, and then also my neighbor next door needs estimates mulch and she was actually uh she was talking to me and she said she said now are you kin to blah 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 I said, I said yes that's my uncle and she said well who, who's blah 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 well that's my dad she said, well i know your whole family i said oh good lord so and that's that's how it is a lot of the times uh my dad is pretty well known in our area uh just because of the line of work that he's in and he knows a lot of people knowing a lot of people can go a long way she was saying i bet you also know so and so and i said I said yes and the so and so she mentioned um also owns a lawn care service and he cuts her yard so i said yes i know i know him very well um we're good buddies we throw work each other's way and she said well he said that he was not going to be able to do my mulch for a couple of months or a couple of weeks or something like that and i guess she was wanting it done you know before the fourth or something like that so and i told her you know thursdays and fridays are usually my slow days so i'd be able to get out at that point so it'd probably be you know next thursday or friday since i'm pretty much open now i don't have any jobs lined up so needless to say as soon as i hung up with her i called so and so the lawn care guy and uh, tried to get him on the phone he he didn't answer the first time and i was headed out to meet her and i was like i'd really like to talk to him before i get out here and you know talk to her because i do not want to step on anybody's toes you know we all network and you know some some of your competition is competition and and some of your competition is actually not competition they're friends that are in this business to help each other out he helps me out he sends me work all the time I send him work when I can uh, with him being a lot bigger of a company um, usually you know he's he's passing off a lot of work to me so and I definitely appreciate him for that. I'm still a, a small business trying to pick up, and he's he's got a full-time crew out running around. So, anyways, I wanted to call him and you know ask him about the situation, make sure there wasn't anything fishy going on, and uh, you know, of course, let him know of the situation. So, I end up meeting with the lady before I get in contact with him. So I meet with her, walk around, give her an estimate, give her neighbor an estimate. Uh, two decent sized mulch jobs, probably around 15 yards total. And I know for sure one of them is a go. I'm still waiting to hear back from the other one. I definitely wanted to get, you know, in touch with him about everything. So after I give the estimates, I'm leaving. Um, he calls me back and I, I tell him about the situation. I said, hey man, do you know so and so? And he says, oh yeah, we cut her yard. 
I said, okay, um, here's the deal. So I called him and fill him in on the situation and uh, I said, hey, I got a lady that that's asking me to do some mulch for her and that you cut her yard and you're not gonna be able to do the mulch for however long it may be that uh, she's wanting it done pretty quick. So I told him, I said, you know, is this something I should just hold off and let you do? I've already gave her an estimate, uh, but I'm happy to, you know, fill her in on the situation. And he said, no, by all means, you have my blessing on this one. So I guess the topic is let's not step on anybody's toes. I, I definitely wouldn't want to give an estimate to um, someone who's a friend of mine is cutting their yard. anything different about the farm it's missing stuff right here ain't it? no no i was just saying like the see how low it is yeah the uh, oh, wow. the city came in and they uh, redid the drain down there at the bottom oh did they yeah huh so it dropped it about i don't know two foot two well, foot probably we took the home away from the fish yeah fish yeah. All right. Down fish. Down fish. Gotcha. Ooh, that good one. Yeah, good fish. Get him in the boat. Yeah, gotta touch him. Got him. 
First fish. There you go. Good Held job. sideways. What? The camera's sideways, but I can fix that. How is the camera sideways? It's recording sideways. Oh. Okay. Okay. Good fish. First fish. Mm, good luck. What'd you catch, Terry? A limb? Eh, limb bass. Limb bass? Yeah, limb bass. I see it trying to swim away from you. It's a stick fish. A stick fish? Terry caught an old stick fish. Hey, you're taking us in there. Here, I'll grab the stick. Hang on, he might not be on there no more. Who? Nope, he can't. Oh. Come on. Fish. Good fish. Ow! All right, watch your face. What a fish, Terry. Yes, sir. It is a fish. Get out of there. Slow release. Yes. It is a fish. Oh, gotta get in the boat. Gotta get in the boat. Oh, he's in the boat. Oh, he got to. Oh, he touched him. Got a line in. Good fish, Terry. See? Two for you, one for me. See. Is that the score? See. Okay. Hey, bye. Oh. Goodbye. Swirl. Is it, baby? Ow! Oh. Reinforcement. <laughs> Stuck in a gill plate, he ain't happy about that. Oh, me either. There we go. He's a monster. Perfect! <laughs>